Yeah, even as we speak, we know that Tesla is all set to enter the Indian market. Uh, EVs are making a big uh, splash already. But even then, luxury cars are going to stay and people are getting a taste of the high life as we uh, can define it. So, what are people actually looking for when they want to spend on this big ticket uh, vehicles? Um, I think there are different kinds of consumers want different kinds of uh, what they really want out for. You know, you you have your flamboyant air segment. You know, somebody who's for whom uh, the luxury car market is something that he's seen through when when he's growing up. He's looking at the driving experience, the experience that comes with the car, the latest technology in uh, in in the car to be him. Uh, there is somebody who is uh, you know a rising achiever. You know, maybe he's a professional, maybe he's a first generation startup guy. Uh, he's made his money. But for him, you know, it's still the, uh, the you know, typical Indian value for money concept as well. Even though he's buying a luxury car, he still wants to maintain that whole concept of value for money. It's an aspirational buy for him. So the badge is more important than what typically the product is. It's the badge value of the car that is very important for him. Uh, you haven't, you have a segment for the patient aspirer, right? Somebody who's got it through a lot of hard work, uh, who's put in the hard yards and, you know, 10, 15 years of work, and then he's buying his first luxury car. He's looking at, you know, he compares that if I'm buying a luxury car, what is the latest tech I'm getting? So there's this whole concept of fabbing, you know, what are the features and what are the benefits out of that that I'm getting? Uh, how important are, are those? You know, it's, it's a way of collecting badges for him as well to say that, you know, what my car has these many number of tech features in it, and hence I've paid the extra money. So different segments of the consumer have a very different aspirational level uh, when it comes to buying a luxury car. Over the next decade, how much uh, penetration would the luxury automobile market make into the overall automobile uh, segment in India? Well, I think like like I started off by saying, you know, the critical number for everybody is the 100,000 number. You know, when, when do we get to 100,000 number in terms of the luxury car sales? Do we hit it in 2031? Do we hit it in 2032? And I think um, we'll, we'll still continue to be a very small, the luxury car market will still continue to be a very small percentage of the total car market. Say if the total car market tends to reach about six million, six and a half million, and the hundred thousand number is reached, it's still a very small number from a from a total car market perspective. But just the CAGR growth in the luxury car market is anticipated to be higher than the mass car market. That's just it could be a base effect as well because currently the luxury car market is very small. Unlike China, where uh, you know the luxury car market is a, a, a couple of million, I don't think we're going to be hitting those kind of CAGR growth numbers in India. But still, we will go ahead and uh, uh, you know hit decent CAGR numbers to get to a hundred thousand car market in the next uh, you know eight seven eight years or so.